Hi, let's talk about volume and surface area of triangular prisms. So a triangular prism, just to review, a triangular prism is a three-dimensional solid that has two congruent triangles. So it's going to have two congruent triangles um, that are parallel to each other. So in this one here, there's this triangle on the front, and there's another triangle that's identical to it on the back and then it's surrounded by three rectangles that are um, wrapping around those two triangles. So this is an ex these four shapes are examples of triangular prisms. So now we're going to find the volume of a triangular prism. And we can find the volume of any prism by finding the area of the base and multiplying it by the distance how far apart the two parallel bases are, so the height of the prism. And particularly in a um, triangular prism, there's another formula on your formula sheet, and it looks like this. One half length times width times height. And um, the reason why that works is because a triangular prism is half of a rectangular prism. So you can use either of these two formulas. So I'm going to um, use this one from the formula sheet first and then I will use on the second one I will use the other more traditional formula. So I'm going to investigate in this prism here I'm looking for the length width and height. So the length could be how um, the one side of the triangle it's going to be if I look at the triangle it's going to be where the length and the width, here we go, right, are going to be the two dimensions that I would normally call the base and height of the triangle. So if I'm looking at just the triangle itself and ignoring everything else, what would be the base and height? That's going to be your length and width. So my length is 3, and the width is 3.7. Then the height is that third dimension that is the distance between the triangles. So it's the, it's the dimension that's not on the triangle. It's what's keeping the two triangles apart. So the height of the prism is 3.2. This prism is laying on its side. Okay, it's laying on its side. So now I'm going to multiply those numbers together to find the volume. And I got 35.52. But that's not the actual answer because Remember, that would be length times width times height. That would be if this is a rectangular prism. But since it's a triangular prism, I only a triangular prism is half of a rectangular prism. So I'm going to multiply this number by half. So one half, so I need to take half of this 35.52, and I get 17.76. All right, so 17.76, and that would be meters cubed. Okay, so that is how I find the volume. Let me find the volume of this other triangular prism, and I will use the one below it. Okay, so the volume of, of the triangular prism. I'm going to use a different formula this time. This time I'm going to use the area of the base times the height. So I need to identify the base. So in all of these prisms, they're triangular prisms, and the base is always the triangle. So the base of this triangular prism is this triangle. The base of this triangular prism is this triangle. The base of this triangular prism is this triangle. The triangle is always the base. It's not necessarily the bottom, because sometimes they show you a prism laying on its side. But this prism I have here um, is actually standing straight up and down. So the base is this triangle, and I'm going to find the area of the triangle. So I'm going to find the area of the triangle, which is 1 half, little b, little h. And then I'm going to multiply that times the height of the prism. So the triangle itself has a base of 8 and a height of 6. So I'm looking at the triangle. So I'm going to do 1 half times 8 times 6, which would be 24. So the area of this is 24. And then I'm going to multiply that times the height 
of the prism itself. So how far apart are the two triangles? And they are 8 centimeters apart. And I get 192. And that's centimeters cubed. So those are your two choices here um, in how to find the volume. So you can choose either one. But the key is to be able to identify what dimensions you're using every time. So if I'm going to use the formula, which is on the formula sheet, 1 half LWH, if that's the formula I'm using, I have to know what those numbers are. And on your formula sheet, it'll have like the little, it'll have them labeled. What's the L, what's the W, what's the H? So I think on your actual formula sheet it says B, W, H. And then um, it shows you that the B is, the B is this side here. That the W is this dimension here. And then the H is the height of the triangle. So if I'm using this formula for the shape, it will be 1 half and then, so the B was 8, which is blue, times the W, which is 5, times the H, which is 6. So that's going to equal 120 feet cubed. And um, if you use the formula for just the general formula for any prism, which is BH, then again, you just have to make sure you recognize that the B is the area of the base. So you're going to find the area of this triangle. So the B is the area of the triangle. And the H is the distance, how far apart those two triangles are. So that's 18. Okay. So I had one, I had 12 and 9 are my base and height of this triangle, and I'm taking half of it to find the area of the triangle, and then I'm multiplying that by 18. That equals 972 centimeters cubed. So as you complete the practice, just be sure that you um, are able to identify what your dimensions are and which numbers from the picture you're using, because you don't always use all of them, to find the volume. The next video will go over surface area.